Welcome back to On My Bookshelf. And in this episode, we're going to be looking at Kingdom by Norman McCloskey, a book that I'm very, very excited to finally have on my bookshelf. So this is Kingdom by Norman McCloskey, and the reason I'm so happy to finally have this book is because of this book, Bearer, also by Norman McCloskey. Bearer has a special place on my bookshelf. It's a book I reached for in the title sequence for On My Bookshelf, and it's probably my favourite landscape photography book I have. I even bought it as a gift for a friend who's also a photographer. But if you'd like to know more on why I like it so much, I'll include a link to the episode of On My Bookshelf that features Bearer at the end of this video and in the video description below. Anyway, the point is that I had high expectations for Kingdom, but have I overhyped it in my mind or is it a worthy addition to my bookshelf? Let's find out. First, let's start with the physical characteristics of the book. It's a hardcover book with a gold foil cover. It measures 295 millimeters by 255 millimeters, has 128 pages with 101 color images all printed on 170 GSM paper. It's a lovely book to hold and look at. The book opens with a beautifully drawn map of Kerry, and then on the opposite page, you'll find a foreword by renowned photographer, Paul Wakefield. The book then follows with an introduction by Norman himself. To be more accurate, it's a two page essay in which Norman gives a wonderful insight into his 30 year relationship with Kerry. The text helps give his photographs context and meaning. The remaining 100 pages or so are then given over to the photographs of Kerry that Norman has captured. If, like me, you're unfamiliar with the landscape of Kerry, you're going to be pleasantly surprised by the rich variety in subject matter. There's everything from mountains, woodlands, coasts and lakes, and even buildings. I think most landscape photographers dream of going to far-flung exotic places, and I'm no different, but this book just shows what you can find on your own doorstep. But it's not just the variety of photographs, but the way Norman has masterfully used his skills as a photographer to capture images that give an insight into what it must be like to wonder about that landscape. Let's look at his use of light, for example. It's been used to carefully add depth, contrast, drama, or even to highlight a particular part of an image. There are also some great examples of when Norman has used layers in the landscape to great effect, such as in this series of photographs. Then there are the photographs where color has been used, such as this image of the potato field and the green roof on the barn, or the blues in this panoramic image of the sea and sky, or the contrasting colours as with this image of the moon against the blue seascape. Even though each individual image stands on its own, it is obvious that a great deal of time and thought has gone into the sequencing of this book. It was a sequencing and pairing that stood out in Bearer as well. There are numerous examples throughout Kingdom. Looking at these two images side by side, you can see how the image of the island on the left then makes you consider that the building in the photograph on the right is like an island in a sea of grass, or how these rocky outcrops in the sea are like snow-capped mountains, or a church spire and a standing stone, or even the use of colour here with the top of the tractor and the roof of the barn. But perhaps my favourite pairing are the wisps of cloud along this mountain, it's just like the cotton blown in the wind. I could go on, but it should be obvious by now that I love this book. I like to look at all sorts of photography books with different styles and genres of photography. Those books inspire and educate me in so many different ways. But just like Bearer before it, the style and the quality of the photographs in Kingdom are the types of photographs I personally aspire to take. I'm always complaining about lack of light, but the photographs in this book show that composition, structure, texture, color, and just the right amount of light in the right place is all you need. Of course, having all these elements together is one thing. Having the skill and the vision to execute them is something very different. This book isn't just a collection of photographs cobbled together over a space of a few weeks or months. This is a cohesive body of work that shows the natural beauty of Kerry in its raw state. It takes passion and deep understanding of an area to pull together a book like this. While these photographs aren't of exotic locations, they are no less intoxicating. The Kingdom of Kerry is not only Norman's paradise, but these photographs show it could be a paradise for any landscape photographer. So is this a book for your bookshelf? Well, for me, it's an easy recommendation. Regardless of if you're just a photographer or someone who just likes photography books, or a person that just wants a book on the Kerry area, 
This should really be on everyone's bookshelf. And of course, if you've already got better, I can almost guarantee you will love this one. I've got all three of Norman's books, Parklight, Better, and No Kingdom. And while I won't pick a favorite, I think I will be updating this show's title sequence because the book I'll be reaching for when I need some inspiration will be Kingdom. Now, if you want to get a copy of Kingdom, you can do so directly from Norman's website. The link is in the video description below. And of course, if you're quick, there might still be some limited edition copies left. These are all signed, numbered, and come with a luxury slip case and a mounted print. I hope you have enjoyed this episode of On My Bookshelf. I've still got a few more episodes to produce for this series. So if you don't want to miss any, remember to click on the subscribe button and then hit the bell icon. But if you can't wait until the next episode, then I'm popping up the On My Bookshelf playlist in the corner of the screen. With over 35 episodes, there's sure to be a book there to inspire your photography. But until the next episode, thanks again for watching and see you then.